Just your thoughts on the word millennium, first of all. For some people, it's the end of something, for some, the beginning. Right. Uh, what's it mean to you? I think to me and for us as a group, it's um, a new beginning. Uh, we've uh, been through a lot of, of changes, um, a lot of growth uh, in this past year. It was probably our most successful year, but probably one of the most difficult years of our lives, uh, just with Brian's heart surgery, um, deaths in our family, uh, conflicts with management and stuff, just uh, trying to take control of our lives. And uh, it's a new beginning for us. We're excited. We uh, are very proud of the material on the album. Well, throughout all that stuff that was happening, you know, so, some of the deaths, deaths, Dennis Pop, for instance, um, at any point did anybody just want to chuck it and say, I have my life to live, this was nice, but... There, I think when Brian went in the hospital, and uh, right after he went in the hospital and came back out on the road, I think we all kind of woke up and realized, you know what, none of this is worth anything if we're not happy and we're not healthy. And we were reaching a point where we were really burned out and we weren't enjoying it anymore. And so we wanted to find a management company and uh, that would support not only having a great career or, and the music, you know, quality being good and always being out there but at the same time our mental well-being our health we wanted somebody that could consider all that and so that was what's most important to us now is, is being happy because if you're happy then you're gonna make other people happy well with every new album there's the uh, impending world tour which is you know, yeah. a year and a half on the road mm -hmm. which does wipe you out are you gonna do things differently this time around yes we are because um, your work ethic has always amazed me the whole band's work ethic We've uh, we've had the we've been blessed that we've been successful all over the world, and with that, you just have to really plan very carefully, so that you know you can get around to all these fans and all these people that have supported you, and that's something that we want to do. This is the first tour that we're actually going to take all over the world. The other times we've done like parts of the world in segments, but they've been kind of different shows because different countries have been on different albums and different songs and now we have finally the the whole world on the same page. So putting the show together and we start June 2nd and in the scheduling we've just instead of going six days with with no day off, we're going like two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off, you know, and make it a lot easier for us. We can spend more time in the places that we're playing to enjoy the cultures and, and the people that we're meeting and just enjoy it more, make it more fun. Because in the past, there's been days where we've done three shows in one day. We did two shows here in Toronto yeah. in one day. Last time, AJ injured his, his uh, quad and couldn't go on the second performance. So we just have to to manage our time and uh, make sure that we're, we're healthy. Throughout it all, you're always smiling, though. It never ceases to amaze me. I mean, it's, it's hard to... Throughout it all, I mean, no matter what, we, this is a gift that we've been given, and we're very grateful for that. Um, we don't want to, to... Even though we might be having a bad day or whatever, we don't want that to you know, affect people watching our shows. We want them to have a good time. And whenever we go out on stage, no matter how tired we were, we always, as soon as we heard that crowd, it, you know, the adrenaline, the rush, it's all that always came back. So that helped, you know, that helps you carry through. Um, I want to talk about Max Martin for a second. Um, he returns as a co-producer yeah. and songwriter again. What is it with this guy? Does, is it formula? Is he just been blessed with his talent to write Max. songs? Max is the same age as me, and he grew up in Stockholm, and he, back before he started writing and producing with Dennis, he was in a lot of rock bands. Uh, he's, he listens to all types of music, and he just has a, a great sense of melodies um, and a great ear. Uh, I think he's just been blessed. He, I think on this album, we're all so proud of it, and we're especially proud of the fact that we've been co-writing with him. Um, but I think he's, this album, 
he won ASCAP. He just got recognized for ASCAP Songwriter of the Year for 1998, which well, we're very happy for, for 10 him. Years, I think. Uh, and I think he learned a lot from Dennis as well. Well, uh, so he's just a very talented, uh, very talented guy. We're happy to be working with him. Still, never before has a Backstreet Boys record had so many cuts co-written by members of the boys themselves. Is that is that just a confidence factor after a m number of years in the industry you're actually willing to do it more or for you for instance have you always written just this is the first time I wrote my first song when I was 13 years old now it probably wasn't album material but I think we've grown um, I think we have gained some confidence um, but just like with Michael Jackson with Madonna and Janet I mean they they grew into their writing and that's something that we're, we're doing, we want to do. Because if we're not growing and if we're not getting better, then we're just getting worse because you're not going to stay the same. So we're trying to, you know, push ourselves and, and grow. All day